Good morning, Modern Stutters. We got a busy day today. We got to finish getting the barn ready so we can get our goats over there. Get a temporary fencing put up for them. The new animals, whew, I almost slipped and told you what they were, are coming tomorrow between 2 a.m. <laughs> so the goats are gonna get into the new barn. Good morning, pigs. Don't touch that fence. I don't want to hear you screech. Don't do it. <coughs> ah, I told you don't do it. Jesus. There you go. They're getting mighty big. Look at the hams on those pigs. Oh, it's gotta make some nice Christmas hams. Some bacon. Look at that fog, guys. It is beautiful. I can't wait to see what you girls think of your new barn setup. Man, you girls are gonna be spoiled. We also got to go and check on our live traps we have set out to see if we caught any predators. Mm -hmm. We had a predator come in the other day and it got CWC guys. Uh, no more crazy white chicken running around the farm guys. Uh, disheartening. Can't wait to fuck catch what got CWC. Find out what it was. Thinking it was either a raccoon or some kind of weasel. Thank you, Willow. I'm hoping we catch something in one of the traps this morning. But the birds are acting pretty calm, so I don't think we have any predators caught. Usually, if you have something in a trap, the chickens aren't acting normal. Yeah, that trap's not set. Whatever it was, so whatever it was has not been back since it got CWC. Oh, you're lucky not to get you last night there, chicken. Chickens better not stay out at night. They won't last now. Aha, look at that. The fairies came last night and they cleaned up the shop and cut up our two by fours for us for the other goat bed. Hey, I thought I knew that. You did that? No, I usually pick it up. Somebody did. Well, a little bit of man glitter, but not too much. Not like what there was. So we got the bunk beds for the goats done in the first stall. Now we want to build another set of bunk beds here. You're going to take a nap. Looks a little hard. Figaro. Doing a good job. Cut that one you're standing on. I told him, good job checking in. That's all we asked for. Who, Tanner? Yes. Have fun, but keep coming back. Yeah, that way I don't have to keep calling him. Where's the other one? for a minute. Oh. Need to go up a smidge. Not a lot, but a little. All right, this batch of lumber should be for the lower bunk bed.
Boy, my sneakers are starting to get stinky. I'm gonna have to replace them at the end of the season. What? Yep, I smell them right now and I'm down here. They were my Bahar building sneakers. It's too hot to wear socks. Yeah, but then you get wet ones too before you Oh, I like it right there. I like it like that. There you go, there are your bunk beds. Is it my turn? Yeah, we We are going to be using Whitcomb, which is nice. It's the only take apart latch. It's like I first saw it at the Jamaica Cottage Shop tour, and I got Dom brought these on his visit the other day. So it's a two. This is the latch that goes on the jam. This is the door handle. Boom. Boom. So fancy. The carton actually the template, which is really cool. Three quarter inch paddle bit. I'm gonna keep this lock up a little bit higher. So that way we don't gotta worry about the hole. this excess off. Line it back up. Alright, so 
now we're rubbing right here a smidge. Just a little bit. Me making a latch oh, to keep the goats out. Right. Another one right here. Figured out. All right, let's get the top latch on this one. dark in here with all the doors shut now. now we'll get that opened up. This one's shut. Put a latch on it. I don't think the camera was working when I installed the latch. But we got this style latch. And we were gonna put an eye lock here to here. But what I'm thinking is if I can grab another one of these latches, I can put that latch right here and then when the doors open it's locked in place i think we've got one in the old goat area right now let's go see if we can find that and then we need to come up with a set of hinges so we can make our mineral feeder looks like we're missing some goats where are they all hiding there you are hope oh you're all on the back side <clears throat> So this latch isn't being used right now. The frost pushed our post out of the ground about what, three inches? So it doesn't line up anyways. Right, so I lock this on here like so, boom. Jesus, that apple scared the, the cheapers out of me. Holy moly. All right, so I'll shut the gate again. And then it can lock on that side. And it'll lock over here. <laughs> That's gonna be perfect. I'm trying to think out loud here and get our mineral holders made here. So these sit on a two by. So I'm thinking if I cut a two by a little bit longer, two of them, one, two. Then we put one above it and we can have it hinged down.
right now we'll take another one of our two by fours flush it up on our marks Bins can sit on here, like so, and they're not going to hit like that. Right, so we need two of them cut at two and an eighth. Now we need three quarters of an inch. Check it. Perfect. Thirty-two and a half. Three quarters inch. The board is going to work perfect. We used our pocket hole jig to make some holes. Makes screwing on an angle a lot easier and a real nice fit. Should do that. Part. Next, we need hinges. I took some hinges off of one of our old chicken tractors that we used to use. the way I want it to work. Let's get a handle though. The goal of this 2x4 is to lock these feeders in place. <sighs> Might have went too tight. Yep, a little snug. I'll have to trim that back, I guess. Let's cut, let's try cutting a five degree bevel here. And then we cut a, we'll put a 10 degree bevel. This way we have the room when we're swinging. Now, if 
bummer. We dropped one. I guess that shouldn't surprise me. down the goat enough to get in here and pull these off this locks it in place boom so i'll get a handle maybe for here but i like that for our other bins they're screwed to the wall so you can't take them off to clean them these ones take them off empty them to clean them boom i like it yeah Okay, whenever you are ready, go for it. Right. Yep. Oh, that's good. Now do the bottom one. Okay, you good? Yeah. Okay, I'm ready whenever you're ready. Okay, I'm gonna do the top one. Yep. Okay, hold up. Okay, whenever you're ready. I'm gonna hang these like so. I think it's straight or crooked. It's good. This one hung. There you go. Ready? I got this done too. Awesome. So. Boom. And then. Boom. You want to see the other one? Yep. I'm ready to see the mineral feeder you requested. Yeah. So we just gotta get a handle for it if we want one, but. Well, you don't even need one. And then, then you can take. Yeah, then we can clean them out. Yeah. yeah. We made some meat so I can just set on the ground. Tanner wants to help you. Good. We've got probably, what, 18 more hours before the new animals show up. we got to get her done. Getting close, we're getting close. Hey, Pinky Pinky, you want some apples? Want some apples? So right now we are setting up temporary fencing. We have some other fencing we're gonna be doing. But that's not gonna be taking place for a couple of more weeks now. So we need to do temporary fencing for now. Let's disconnect. That's on, that's off. Now we can disconnect all this. I made my own insulator. For the end of the fence if I'm going up against wood or metal. I got a piece of PVC pipe that I ripped the groove in. Ooh. Holy moly. Our property looks so different now. I don't know because over here was always like a wasted space. This was all brush. You couldn't do anything back here. Now you got a nice barn looking at you. And this was all wooded and overgrown before. 
It's just so funny how far the, the different progressions we've made. All right, let's find the first one. You want me to go this way when I first? Not yet. But yes, you'll need to. All right, let's go one more and then we'll shoot this way and go back. Now we'll work backwards this way and go out that way. Because okay. this is what we have left for fencing right here. Right, and this way we need to leave that. Right. Yeah. Can go here. Let's see what we can do to get this fence. So it's nice and tight. That'll work. We're going to get that right in the... Runaway whale. Ready? It's going to get you. All right, let's go over this way. Do -do -do -do. Let's see how we're doing over here. That's all looking good. That's nice and tight. I just need to get it tight here. It's nice and cool back, back here. It is. I got some shade and goats love shade. They don't care for sun. Comes your puppy dog. All right, made another PVC cover for this end where it goes near the building. Boom. This is a nice big area. <laughs> yeah, you and Tanner have a fun playing in it, huh? Yeah. She's going to. Think they want to drink? You walk through so many skywalks. Yeah, I know. There's one. Ah. I'm trying not to spill it. Oh. Yes, he is. Silly. All right. You can if you know where it is. Let's grab. The only thing we didn't get done was hay feeders. I can eat hay on their bunk bed for the day. You ready to go get some goats? Yeah. Hope you want to be the first one in the new barn? Come here. Yeah. yeah I'll go. All right, ready? Open it up. And then you shut it. You have to pick it up. Mom, you're going to have to. Hey. Don't chew me fingers, Hope. Oh, no. You excited, girl? You don't even know what's about to hit you. Which one? That one. This one? Yeah. What do you think, Hope? Oh, Hurry. What do you think? No. Huh? Look at that bunk bed. Can I sit with you? We gotta be quick. Okay, Levies, get ready. Without mom. Little P, you're next. Not good. Daddy, 
Did you see that? Yeah. 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 I think Buttercup will follow if we take one of them. I'll take Blossom. Come here. There you go. There's everybody. I think Hope is the easiest to get in here. She don't care. No, she don't. What do you think? They're like, what is this? Finding some apples. Yeah, Pope likes the yellow leaves. This is kind of back where you were before. I'm curious to see if they just walk right back in or... Oh, there we go. Awesome. So I've seen everybody go back in so far except for Willow. There you go, little man. Little P. What are you doing, Hope? tonight homestead pie made with chicken right off the farm mmm looks delicious is that not cooked? oh it's cheese I forgot I put cheese between the two layers silly You're getting farm fit. We're getting ready for the new livestock coming. They'll be here about what, 1 a.m., 2 a.m.? Well, we made it, guys. We got the barn. I shouldn't say we're completely done. We got most of it done. We just need to make some hay feeders for the new barn. Hopefully, we can do that tomorrow once the new livestock shows up here. And yeah, I gotta get up at like midnight tonight or 1 a.m. Yeeks. The boys will be showing up around around 2 a.m. is what I'm told. So it's going to be a strange night tonight. Not much sleep. So we'll be drinking lots and lots of coffee the next couple of days. Thanks for coming along on this crazy journey with us, guys. If you want to get into homesteading or you want to dive deeper into homesteading, I am excited to let you know that I've been working with five other homesteaders YouTubers that have put together a DIY homestead know-how crash course. It's a free viewing from it started August 5th and it goes till August 11th. There's going to be, I made a video on it, the video I'm sharing about how we built our barn, the design, the setup, and also how we are designing and setting up our homestead for our climate. 
Where we live is a little bit different than a lot of the other places in the world. You guys don't have as much cold weather as we do. So for all y'all northerners, you'll know what I'm talking about. Then we have Ben and Meg Holla. They're sharing their experience with them quitting the rat race and going into homesteading and what to think about. We also have Jason from Sow the Land, and he's teaching us how to build a veggie washing station. We have Mike Dickerson, the fit farmer. He's going to be showing us how to lose weight and stay fit on the farm. I think Gino is just doing a great example of that. We don't need a gym, do we? We have Casey from Honey Tree Farms. He's going to be teaching us how to fall garden. And Justin Rhodes is going to be doing a how to design your best homestead ever. There is a ton of great videos on there. I'm going to have a link in the description down below. It's a free viewing. Once the free viewing is done with, you're going to have a chance to sign up for Justin Rhodes' Abundant Permaculture. You can become a member to that website, and that website is loaded with more and more videos like this. I think there's like a hundred or more. We've made them in the past for him. We're going to be making one a month this coming year for the Abundance member area. It's an affiliate program, so if you guys sign up through our link, we'll get a commission off that, so you'll be helping support Lumna Acres. So I want to thank any of y'all who do that. Let us know what kind of videos you want. Do you want more videos on the barn? Do you want them on firewood? Do you want them on fall gardening? Do you want them on how we garden here? That kind of thing. And if they have a Facebook uh, page, we're going to be active on the Facebook page. And they do live videos every once in a while. And we're going to be doing one in October with them. So if you guys want to get in on that, the link's in the description down below. Thanks for coming along this crazy journey with us. Tomorrow, we get some new animals. I don't know how awake I'll be. Um, I'll try to drink some high test coffee. So I'll see you guys right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.